Hello, landing crew. So it is no secret that we have struggled with limiting screen time with our kids. We've made videos about it. We've had lots of comments about how the kids were always on devices or computers and they were not wrong. <laughs> we definitely saw that there was an issue. There was a problem. We just didn't know how to fix that problem. We've tried many apps, many programs, many rewards, many punishments. I mean, we've tried everything, guys. The hardest part is the fact that we have two teens, a preteen with special needs, a three-year-old, a toddler, and a baby. Circle Home is sponsoring this video today in order to reach families like yours and like mine to help create that healthy balance in a technology-driven world while still making time for family. So Circle Home is very unique. It actually plugs into the back of your modem or your router. I'm sure other special needs families might be able to relate on this, but as a special needs family ourselves, it's really hard to really just go out a lot as a family. So we do a lot of our family time at home. Some of you may have noticed the kids are no longer glued to devices all the time. They're no longer glued to computers. They're finding other things to interact with and do inside and outside the home. And that is thanks to Circle. Now you might be wondering, is this complicated? And the best news, it is not complicated. It is super easy to sign up. Once you have your Circle Home device, all you have to do is download an app, fill in some information, scan a code, and you are good to go. So what makes Circle Home really unique versus other apps is that it doesn't just manage one device or one Wi-Fi driven application. It actually overrides all cellular data on an application. For example, the biggest hiccup we would have with other apps and things like that is that it would just use the Wi-Fi. So if we were to say, okay, let's have all the internet cut off at a certain time, any devices that was powered through like a cell phone company and would go on cellular data, it, would override. it, it wouldn't matter. Like they Absolutely. could still go online, they could still do whatever, but more importantly, we weren't able to see their time usage and we weren't able to see exactly where they were going. It kind of made it pointless in a way, but Circle Home is not like that. If maybe in the house your child uses Wi-Fi and then once the Wi-Fi is turned down, they're using their cell phone or something, this overrides that and you don't have to worry about that anymore. And just as signing up was super easy, so is doing the profile. The profile was probably the thing that I thought was the cutest because you got to do the little icons and it's like a little circle. The hardest part about Circle is your kid's not liking you for the first week. Oh guys, they they were not they they were not happy with us at all. Kids are sneaky. They are. Like kids are really, really sneaky. Especially as they, they get older, the sneakier they get. But Circle Home has thought about that and there's literally no way for them to bypass this. If they delete the app from their phone, it notifies you. If they unplug the router, it notifies you. Like there is literally no way around it. It also gives accountability for the child as well. It alerts them whenever their time is coming up. So that way they're ready in, in reference to knowing when that, that shut off is going to begin. And at that point they can negotiate with their parents. Of course, that's what they do next. <laughs> That's the next step in this. And I like it because like, let's say if you just wanna put two hours, like that's all you want the screen time for them to use is two hours. Well, you can then put, well, I only want 30 minutes of those two hours to be on Instagram. So they can only do 30 minutes of Instagram. And I feel like it's really made our children think about what apps are the most important to them right. and what they really use. I'm in the habit of this too. Sometimes we just get on our phones and we just diddle. Like we right. just do nothing, like literally just nothing but stare at us Screen. Yeah, it's not just accountability for just the children, it's accountability for the entire family. Also what I enjoy about it is the ability to restrict certain applications that your child may or may not be aware of that may be sometimes harmful to them. And you're going in and like doing the filters and they have all kinds of different filters. They have adult, teen, kids. You can do it where it's allowed, but you wanna put limits on it. You can do it where it's not allowed, meaning your child will never ever be able to use yeah. that app. Even if they're able to download it somehow, they still won't be able to use it. So yeah. if, if Snapchat and Instagram are those two apps that you're just like, nope, I don't want my child to use that. It also allows you to restrict certain websites too. If there's a particular website you decided that your child is not able to go on, you can actually block that as well. One thing I think is different because I feel like a lot of like these parenting apps and parenting programs and things already do that, but I feel like something that's very unique 
to this program is the fact that you can go in and it will let you know when like a new app is being used or a new website is being visited. So you kind of know what your child is doing and I feel like it kind of keeps you involved in them. It sounds silly, but I feel like it really has changed our family time and right. the kids come out of their room now. We get busy, you know, with YouTube lives and, and going into things that we don't always have the ability to monitor, so that's always a good peace of mind to have, especially if you have a busy life and you're actually working all a lot and you don't have the, the time to sit down and see what your child is doing. It's one of the biggest things that happen in, in reference to mistakes that are made on the internet. I feel like we know more of what's going on too. Right. If we are just curious about what our child was visiting that day or what they did, how, how much time did they get on the phone? Of course it lets you set like the wait time, the bedtime according to the day of the week. I feel like that's kind of basic with any app you have, but this one actually allows you to do specific off periods. So for example, if we're having a family night, we're all watching a movie or show, or we're all playing a board game, we will shut off every Wi-Fi device in the house just by the click of a button. And that is a feature that we'll be using also when the kids go back to school for like homework time. So if you only want like four to 6 p.m. to be their homework time, like that's when they should be at the table, they should be doing their homework, then you can have that period of two hours where none of their devices work. Our kids always like to use the, well, I need the internet in order to do my schoolwork. You can have like one laptop or computer that has it open. We've definitely found ways around this. I don't think every single question needs the internet. <laughs> I'm gonna let Lonnie talk about this, but because it is his favorite feature, but you can actually reward your kids with extra time. <laughs> Finally, you have more control of how your house gets cleaned. <laughs> you do have the ability to extend different times, extend different bedtimes, extend different time limits to the child's needs in reference to a reward system. So if you have a child like Lonnie Jr. who likes to please his parents for extra time, you can go into the application and add maybe 30 minutes, an hour, depending on how you choose. With the click of a button, it allows the child to see it in a kind of an airmail drop format and it lets you know, hey, you've been rewarded. So it actually is a kind of a, reinf a positive reinforcement. This is one of those things that immediately when we started using this, we knew it was going to be definitely life-changing for us. Guys, I'm not just saying this because this is a sponsored video. I'm being serious when I say I feel like this has really given us a lot of quality family time, a lot of time with our kids. Of course, some of this has to do with accountability and there's more than just an app in there, but I definitely think if you're wanting to limit your kid's screen time, if you're wanting to kind of find that healthy balance between technology and family time and spending time together, especially during the summer months because I know everyone talks about this during the summer but you only have 18 summers with each kid Danielle's about to be 15 so I got three more summers with her the best thing is that circle home is actually gonna be doing a giveaway to enter the giveaway just click the link in that description right down there the giveaway is starting today and is gonna be going through July 1st and then from July 2nd to July 5th there will be a promotion so it will give you guys lots of chances to kind of try this out for your family I really really think that you guys are going to absolutely love this. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Circle Home Plus as much as we have. Don't forget to click the link in the description to enter the giveaway or the promotion if it's after July 1st. Thank you, Circle Home, again. We love your product and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. We should do it together. Bye. Just getting ready for the ladies. What's that? Husband not paying enough attention to you? Not a problem. See that gentleman right there? Tap. Pause. So as a special needs, <laughs> yeah, I'm spitting everywhere. I don't know what's going on. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be there. Heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind.